Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 here with Ajax and our Youth Academy Challenge. We're about to take on Roda here in the league. Of course, it's been a little bit of a gap since I've uploaded um, last year in the Ajax series. My apologies for that, it's just, you know, things are getting a, a bit hectic at work at the moment. I'm just, I'm chasing a new promotion and stuff like that, so getting a wee bit busier outside this, but I'm determined to make time and come back in here uh, and get the series going again. So, But listen, I've seen even the subscriber count going up in, in the week or so since I last uploaded, so do you know what? I just want to thank you guys. I, I greatly appreciate it. Um, the fact that obviously you know that I'm going to be back, I'm going to upload, I'm not going to leave you hanging for ages. Uh, the, the fact that you trust me, that you know, when it's been a couple of days that I will come back and upload again. So really, it does mean a lot to me that you guys are, are, are still following even when I take a wee sort of, a wee gap of absence here or there. So, as I say, <clears throat> that's my explanation for where I've been. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately YouTube's not really paying the bills at the moment, so I still need to actually look for real jobs and stuff like that so as I say promotion possibly on the horizon which is why I've been a wee bit absent on here recently however let's focus on today's action <coughs> excuse me we're gonna have Rui Grock, Veltman, Farkas, Maduro, Backboard, Kemper, Lang, Akelenkamp, Clivert, Sirhaus and Decker quite similar to the team that drew with Vitesi last time out but we're gonna try and put that out of our head uh, do you know what I'm gonna give Nunnally a shot in there instead of uh, instead of Gino Decker there, we're just going to go with that at the moment. Um, last time out it was Nunnally that scored in the 92nd minute. We thought we'd won the game until that 94th minute penalty. Uh, away in Bayern, Gino Decker obviously got both goals, so it's a hard call to leave him out. Um, but we're just going to have to go that way. We're off the back of three draws in a row. We're looking to get a win here today. We've beaten Roda the two times we've played them so far. They're going very narrow here, so hopefully some space for the wing-backs and the wide strikers there. We should be winning this fairly comfortably. Play your own game and we will win. Uh, we'll encourage the boys right off the bat. Look at that cluster of yellow shirts in the middle there. Hopefully that's a bit too congested for them to really do anything with. And we can hopefully just hit them down the sides. And it is Kemper now with the ball in a wide position. Sir House into Lang, acres of space, takes a shot right into the keeper's arms though. Should have been placing that one a wee bit better for me. Had a clear sight of goal. <clears throat> Goes forward but it is nicked by Veltman, but board Veltman, Lang, great ball for Clivert, running down the flank, got the ball in. Sir House is ahead of his man. It's a lovely finish and it is 1-0 Ajax. Kemper now, can we add another quickly mm, giving it away forward it goes, Ongenda Awasser I would say probably for his name, rushing forward now, Awasser's volley, has hit the post it is followed up by El Macrini, but it is uh, El Mar Macrini, pardon me but it is offside thankfully Kemper to Lang and Sir House, there goes Clivert, ah he's chosen the wrong option Kurto will knock it long towards Ongenda it will be headed away by Veltman but that cluster in the middle gets it. Oh, Lang wins it back perfectly. But board going wide. It's Clivert now. He's into the box. Oh, it's a good save by the keeper. I thought he might have just been placing that far corner there. Should really have rolled it across the box. But nonetheless, good move down that right-hand side. And we're getting down the flanks again. As Maduro loses out, sadly. Doing okay as a left-sided centre-back, actually, Maduro here. We usually actually play him as the right wing-back. Curto... Uh, Terrible long ball. Kemper gets it. Nunnally to Sir House. Got runners from the middle. Got Cliver out wide. He's in. He shoots. It's an it's a poor finish this time. You know the the ball across the goalkeeper last time was the right option. It was just a good save by the keeper. But that one one on one. You've got to pick your spot there. I'm afraid. <clears throat> Kemper now absolute waves and waves here. We've got to take a chance. Kellen Camp losing it. Kemper digs out the cross. Hits the bar. And Clivert is filled for the free kick just at the side of the corner flag there. But uh, too many chances here that we're fluffing. A Kellen Camp free kick in. Clivert flicks it. Oh, it's just over the bar. Get so close to that opening goal now, but we're going to need to make one of these chances count. We're in way better shape than their team as well. Their condition is really starting to falter. As Lang picks it up from backboard, Clivert will flick it on. Sir House makes it his own, drives it low. Nunnally's there, and it is 2-0. Just by his, <coughs> excuse me, his inclusion. A great bit of play from Sir House to win that ball, make it his own, and cross it nice and low. 
Veltman backboard, easy route down the right, over the top to Cliver, easily in behind, square it this time son, squares it, it's a chip ball to Nunley, why are you chipping that son, roll it along the deck, it's a poor cross by Cliver, who I think will come off at half time, he's been making some good runs in behind, but he's been very very wasteful, but it has been a good half, you would expect to be beating them here obviously at home at the Johan Cruyff Arena, and we are, of course, doing that by two goals to nil at half time. Comfortable, comfortable day. Uh, very pleased. Keep it going, lads. Uh, Cliver, as I say, is coming off. We'll bring on, we'll bring on Eric Koning, and I'm going to bring on Nishiano Zigtig as well for backboard. I'm butchering these names, man. Why am I not playing as like Dundee or something? <clears throat> Ball into the box first, bit of danger but it's easy enough for the goalkeeper. Ball out to Veltman and let's get down that right again. Nope, goes out to Maduro. Far cast, down the right though to Mzigtig. Does he have the run in behind? He does indeed by Koning, it's a great bit of movement. Good cross, Sir House is on it, hits the post but it was a perfect movement and a great ball in by the young Koning there. As Lang lines up the corner, it is in deep, header away well, a Kellen camp for Nunnally. Maduro can't really find a way through the yellow wall there. Sir House, Lang, nah, we've lost it. <clears throat> Conan gives it right away to Van Pepin. It goes down the line, easily won by Veltman. Here's Kemper and a Kellen camp. Lang, do we have anything here at the end of this? Sir House, out wide to Kemper. Inside for Sir House, and there it is. 3 0. We do indeed have something at the end of it. We're going to also bring on. Who will we bring on? We're building on Carl Eating for um, for you're gonna kill in camp. We'll go with that one. <clears throat> Sir House will have the chance for his hat trick, of course. Nunnally will play the whole 90 minutes, and Coning has a lot of chance to impress now the young lad there. Powman, oh Jesus, that is some effort there from Rhoda. Absolutely thunders off the bar and out for a throw in. I don't think they're still in the game, even if they got one. I don't think there's any danger of them coming back, but just a wee warning that they're not entirely dead and buried yet. Well, it doesn't look like MD's going to really take this chance to impress. It looks like a fairly standard petering out here for the last couple of minutes. <clears throat> About 15 seconds or so left now to go in the game. Maduro and Kemper and eating and Maduro and we're just kind of passing it around now aren't we <clears throat> Kemper for Nunnally as we try and breach one more time but it is over at 3 nothing. nice comfortable victory for us there good win boys well done Sir House obviously man of the match again is really growing into a hell of a player now um, he's obviously been one of the best young players we've had but he's really starting to hit numbers now I mean last season he got 14 goals this season he already has 14 goals in 11 league games he has 14 goals that's crazy double the number of the next top scorer absolute nuts his numbers man uh, PSV Eindhoven smashing their opponent uh, Harkimes boys Feyenoord barely squeaked by FC Os and AZ beat Venlo for nothing Gino Decker wants to improve contract um, yeah sure why not Gino Decker has been doing pretty well, 21 years old, only gets 3.8k. Getting another year added onto the deal, and we will give him six and a half. Hmm. Eight. Hmm. We'll be 875. Yep, new contract for Gino Decker, 875, and a rotational um, squad status. Carl Eating wants an improved contract. Uh, I'm going to tell him he's got plenty of time left to run. Because I'm not really sure that he's that high up in the pecking order, really. I mean, I like Jürgen Akelin Camp in there, and he's been training well, actually. Also, Akelin Camp, still only 18 to. Justin Clivert training well, exceptionally well, actually. And Jörg Roy Grock training well, which we need. We desperately, desperately need. <clears throat> and it's almost time to face Excelsior now before we play, play Bayern, hopefully. We'll get a nice, uh, a nice victory over Excelsior to give us some confidence going into the game against Bayern Munich. Of course, we were ahead in that game, and 
we had a real, real chance to beat Bayern at the Allianz Arena. We only managed to draw, so now we have to do something at home as well. Van der Beek wants to move to a bigger club. Um, I've no intention of letting you go. Concentrating a move. Uh, concentrate on a move. Concentrate on your football and forget a move. He's here. He's got a five-year contract. He is going nowhere. I don't care how upset and angry he gets. He's staying here for at least the duration of that five-year deal. <clears throat> One of the few excellent players that we have actually that we wouldn't be replacing even if we weren't doing the Youth Academy Challenge. One of the few players who's come through the Ajax Youth Academy that we have here as a seasoned pro at the moment, him and Veltman, two that are absolutely vital to the success going forward here. Uh, how do Feyenoord get on? They win 2-1 against Willem. Unfortunate but expected. Um, no real surprises in the rest of the games. Alkmaar winning, Breda winning. PSV are rooted bottom still. Uh, Utrecht's little climb seems to have stalled since Breda beat them. Breda are now actually two points clear of us, although we do have the game in hand. Feyenoord are back to six points ahead of us. Eight wins, three draws and no losses for Feyenoord so far. We have the six wins, three draws and two losses. Obviously the two losses there being the difference. It's a shame as well. So if I recall correctly, we absolutely hammered Feyenoord and ended up getting a draw. Is that right? Uh, where are they now? Feyenoord, Feyenoord, Feyenoord. Or have we played them yet? No, we haven't played them. I have a weird feeling we have, though. <coughs> Excuse me. No, we haven't played them yet. Okay, fair enough. Excuse me. Ah, oh, a sore throat here. So we will play Feyenoord <coughs> as the last game of the. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me once again, guys. Uh, yeah, we'll play Feyenoord as the last game of the round of fixtures, and obviously we're at home to them the last game of the season. PSV Eindhoven have lost at home to ten man Vitesse. What is happening over there? Jesus. I've never beaten Excelsior, I've never lost to Excelsior, just the draws. So hopefully we can rectify that. Donny van der Beek is actually ready to come back, which is nice. Uh, he will go in for a Kalen camp. Lang has played far too well to take him back out. Savistano will replace Kemper, which drops Maduro back to the bench. How is Farkas looking? Mm, very average, very, very average. But he's done a job so far since he's come in. Yeah, we'll leave him on, why not? <coughs> right, here we go. Pick up where you left off last time out, lads. Absolute domination of Rhoda, so hopefully we can do the same here to Excelsior. Lovely pass, no, nope, tilt that. <coughs> Farcast making an absolute hash of it there twice. Of a Stanos header, Van de Beek wins it well from Bruins. It's your house around the corner, Lang in, Clivert finishes! Beautiful start. Clivert doing better in front of goal than he did last time. Lovely last ditch tackle, Farkas's ball. Oh, and the tackle there's played, Sir House sort of in, but yeah. Defender narrowed the angle. <coughs> The sops throw to Bruins and Mabel switching it. Easy for Sabastano to cut out. Veltman finds back board as Clivert making that run. He is indeed. There he is out wide. Defenders haven't tracked him. On a plate for Sir House 2 0. And Clivert is having a much better game today already than he did last time out. Lovely assist on a plate for Sir House. And obviously the way he took his goal. Yep, excellent game so far, but 30, 30 minutes gone, 2-0, absolutely coasting. 
Lovely flick into the box. Mabel, though, as Cross is terrible. Elbers keeps her in, but only for Savistano. Launches it for Sir House. We've got three on two here. Sir House plays a nunnally. Rounds the defender. Pass the keeper. Three nothing. <clears throat> three and easy. After only half an hour. I don't think there's any danger that uh, Excelsior will be keeping their unbeaten record over us here. Van de Beek in. They missed their headers. Noah Lang for four. First senior goal for Ajax, beautiful stuff, and 4 nothing. and he's deserved it since he's come in. Lang has looked immense, as if he's going to jump Camp and Aiting into the squad. <clears throat> Van de Beek, lovely switch, but Board, can he deliver a cross on a plate? He can, but the keeper's equal to Sir House's nice header. Doesn't look like the action's finished here, though. Long from Christensen. Away by Veltman, picked up by Clivert, inside for Van de Beek, it's a loose pass though, Elbers over the top, easy for Roy Brock to just collect, passes it out to Kemper, and Farkas, dithers on it, Van Duyn, oof, dodgy to say the least, from, uh, from Farkas at the back there, but he does have a 7.1 rating somehow, Very happy with the way things are going, lads. I'm going to bring on Gio De La Vega for Nunnally. I'll bring on Eros Maddy for Clivert. And I'll bring on Maduro for Backboard. There we go. Three changes all made at half time. And hopefully we can rack up another couple here to give us that confidence we spoke about before the Bayern game. Good take by Rui Grock there before the, defend uh, sorry, the attacker got in. <clears throat> Out it goes to Kemper, Van de Beek, Savastano, De La Vega plays into your house, it's an easy finish for the most lethal striker in the league who is now up to 16 goals in just 12 games. Can he get another hat trick on his account and go up to 17? Chance here, Van de Beek puts her in, header away, comes back to Donny Van de Beek, has a shot just over the bar. Savistano, mm, throw and cut out. Van Doinen coming forward, running at all three of them. Farkas pushes out, wins it well. Savistano, Kemper, Veltman is a long ball on. Nope, goes back to the goalkeeper. That's okay, we'll keep it and recycle possession. Kemper, Farkas, pass it quickly, son. Jesus, Kemper. Over the top, Sir House, Savistano. That's a poor ball, over the top it is. Van Doinen beats Farkas, but it is well wide in the end. Hopefully Rui Grock can keep that clean sheet. That'll be a nice confidence boost before the Bayern game. We're obviously going to win this game now by a good couple of goals. But hopefully we can keep it 2-0. Corner. Sir House. Oh, and it's off the line. Chance for the hat-trick. But a very good block. Maduro to Lang now. Smuggled in and Savastano's there of all people to make it six now his first ever goal uh, in the same day <coughs> that Noah Lang got his first goal I think that's probably going to be the end of the game now for Moylan cut out by Savastano long it goes it's too long for Maddy though and with 20 seconds left it's probably just going to be a case of seeing out the possession now Bruins is header cut, uh, cut out by Van de Beek De La Vega down the left, I don't think there's going to be a chance, so we need to put it in now. He does put it in, but the goalkeeper easily claiming it. <clears throat> but there you go, it's 6-0. We did get another couple of goals to add to the first half goals. Sir House rightfully walks away with man of the match. Noah Lang got two assists in addition to his goal, so there was an argument that possibly he could have got it. But I, I always think when you score two goals, uh, you should probably be the main man for man of the match and he is now the highest rated of course in the league this season just been an exceptional striker for us so far he's got a four year deal still so we can certainly let that run a little bit longer before we consider tying him down but listen that's going to be it for a little comeback episode here I hope you guys have enjoyed it nine goals scored none conceded exactly what we need going into the Bayern Munich game obviously we've got that next time excuse me next time out and then Groningen as well 
drop to see you guys for that one of course to follow the channel and everything you can click that subscribe button which I'd really appreciate but mostly thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time when we host Bayern and we go to Groningen